Welcome to part 6 of Blogger Plus AdSense tutorial series. You are going to learn how to get Google to index blogger posts faster and learn how to submit sitemaps on Google Search Console. You may skip to each timestamp if you know how to set up these things already. Since this is a full step-by-step -step tutorial series, I will show you how to set up a simple blogger site and get Google AdSense approval. Let's dive in right now. It's been a few hours since I ended my recordings in part 5 of the BAT series, you can see there are 7 posts published at their scheduled time. All SOA exam P posts and 1 out of 8 exam IFM posts were published on my blogger site. The next post scheduled to be published is at 12 am later. This is how my blogger site is looking now, simple and easy. Let me copy the link of my first blog post here, and now let's move on to indexing these published blog posts using Google Search Console. Paste the link beside the search icon and press enter to request indexing this blog post. But before that let me index the blogger site first, I haven't done it in the previous part. You can see my blogger site is under discovered currently not indexed with no sitemap, so press this request indexing to proceed. Wait for a moment and complete the recaptcha, and this message means my blogger URL was added to the queue and Google might start to look over my website. Press got it to continue to my first blog post. Copy and paste the first blog post link and press enter again. This blogger post has the same indexing status as my blogger URL as both of them are under discovered currently not indexed status, press the request indexing again. The sitemap status under discover section down here is not applicable, it means that I haven't added any sitemaps inside this Google Search Console account. You may add one or more sitemaps by clicking this section on the sidebar. If you don't have any sitemap, you can simply add a new sitemap by typing sitemap.xml in this bar and press submit. So now there is one sitemap inside my GSC account under my blogger site. However, I don't like to add a single sitemap only. Instead, I'm using four sitemaps in this blogger website, these sitemaps are adam.xml, feeds, sitemap.xml, and sitemappages.xml. The first three sitemaps are for blog posts, while the last sitemap is for blog pages. The first two sitemaps here are RSS, or Adam feeds, while the last two sitemaps are XML sitemaps. According to the recommendations provided by Google, it is best to use both XML sitemaps and RSS, or Adam feeds for optimal crawling. XML sitemaps will give Google information about all of the pages on your site. RSS or Atom feeds will provide all updates on your site, helping Google to keep your content fresher in its index. You may visit the link provided in the description box to learn more about these sitemaps. Regardless of how many sitemaps you have, XML sitemaps like sitemap.xml and sitemappages.xml are the best and only sitemap you definitely need to use and add in Google Search Console. They are already good enough to let your blogger website get Google AdSense approval. Therefore, don't listen to other tutorials to use something like sitemap generators to create a custom sitemap for a blogger website. Besides, don't try to change the original robots.txt file and the sitemap.xml inside it on your blogger website before getting Google AdSense approval. Back to Google Search Console, I just type and submit all the sitemaps mentioned earlier. There is one error on the status of sitemappages.xml, but don't worry about it, because I haven't published any important pages like about me and privacy policy yet. It will be fixed once there is at least one important page published on my blogger website. You can see there are 7 to 8 discovered URLs under these sitemaps, but you might wonder why there is a difference between the number of discovered URLs, maybe. So basically for RSS or Atom feeds, these sitemaps will include all the blog posts, and the website link, for my case is varioox.blogspot.com. Meanwhile, the XML sitemap only includes all blog posts, and that's why it shows 7 discovered URLs, which is equivalent to 6 exam P posts plus 1 exam IFM post. Now it's the time to publish all important pages, because more than one blog post was published at this moment. Inside the layout section, click this pen icon and enable this widget to show all the important pages I just published. Press add a new item, then click the page name, and there is a list for you to choose, click save to continue. You can arrange these important pages in the way you like, but I just save and leave it like this. Soon after that, I then copy another blog post link from the blogger site and repeat the request indexing process again until all published posts URLs are submitted to Google Search Console. Remember the link format I told you in part 5 of the AT video? Now I can just change the number at the back of this link and submit these blog posts easily. You can see there are sitemaps showing here already after I submitted them inside Google Search Console. Currently I have submitted all the URLs and requested Google to crawl and index all my blogger posts. By the way, you may click the settings on the sidebar and then click associations here. Press the dark blue button with associate to connect this Google Search Console account to Google Analytics, then press continues to proceed. Press associate and now both of them are connected. That's all for part 6 of Blogger Plus AdSense tutorial series. Feel free to ask me something in the comment section if you still have any doubts about blogger creation and setup. Finally, you are going to learn the newest tutorial on how to create a Google AdSense account in 2021 and submit a review application to get Google AdSense approval in part 7 of the BAT series.
By the way, once my YouTube channel has 1,000 subscribers and reaches 4,000 hours of watch time, I will pick one subscriber of this YouTube channel and award you something. If you are the lucky one, I will help you to get Google AdSense approval free. Just make sure you click the subscribe button, leave a like and comment in any Google AdSense related video to be eligible for this lucky draw. Before we move on to the next YouTube tutorial video, tell me which factors you think are the most important factor to get Google AdSense approval on a website. A. Daily traffic. B. Number of posts. C. Website theme. Or D. Content quality. Leave your choice in the comment section, and I will create a video to specifically talk about the most popular option after the end of this Blogger Plus AdSense tutorial series. You are the one to decide which content you want to see, so choose it wisely. Click the watch list on your left to watch the next part of BAT series, or click the watch list on your right to learn more about Google AdSense and the ways to fix policy violations on Google AdSense. Goodbye and have a nice day.